and welcome to the Full Lot Tank Garage. Glad you could join us today. The Full Lot Tank Garage has uh, always big on taking advantage of opportunities, and the opportunity presented itself for us this week to uh, drive the 2017 Jaguar XJ R Sport. Uh, my XKRS went in for its regular maintenance, and so. Uh, Ronnie over at the Nashville uh, Jaguar, or Jaguar Nashville, has uh, seen fit to allow us to take the top of the line flagship vehicle for the Jaguar line to drive today. The XJ is by far the largest vehicle in the Jaguar lineup, um, only to be exceeded by the XJL, which is an extended version of the XJ that you can purchase for about an extra $10,000. This vehicle tickets uh, right at $76,000 with the R-Sport package on it. It comes with a three liter V6 supercharged engine producing 340 horsepower. And uh, I gotta say, with the size of car that I'm in right now, this car is fast. Uh, I believe it's the same powertrain that is in the XE S version that we have driven about two or three months ago did a car review on so what do we think well the uh, car is absolutely beautiful from the outside it is uh, a large car when you're standing out looking at it uh, but it doesn't feel near as large when you're driving it my wife would argue that it is a large car when you're trying to park it uh, but uh, with all the extra driver's age such as the parking aids and the backup camera it, uh, makes it a pretty simple task. The Jaguar XJ that I'm driving today comes in Polaris white exterior with a London tan with jet stitch interior. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful inside. It has it's finished with uh, some lovely wood, um, some chrome bits, uh, it's every bit as, as luxurious as you would expect a Jaguar XJ to be. It uh, competes directly with the S-Series Mercedes, the 7 Series on the BMW lineup, or the A7, A8 that is offered by Audi. Uh, the XJ comes with uh, three different drive modes. Right now, I am driving it in normal drive mode. I've just switched it to winter. Uh, it uh, changes the driving dynamics to allow the car to be much more controllable during inclement weather. As I switch it over to dynamic mode, which is by far my favorite mode, uh, the car becomes much more nimble. The uh, steering tightens up and it uh, really handles the curves a lot better. It's actually a very uh, athletic and nimble car for its size. In regular mode, it's a very comfortable car to drive when you are on the interstate or doing long tours. But if you want to hit the back roads, the dynamic mode is the road for you. You'll notice that the center dash display, which it typically has your miles per hour, your tachometer, and other information on the right-hand side will change as you change your driver modes. Uh, it'll have a large S in it, and a little more of the display will be red when it's in the uh, sport mode system, which when there's a car on your left or right-hand side, it'll show in the mirror and let you know that there's something there. Standard features on the XK include uh, electrically heated auto dim folding mirrors, which are very nice. It's got a heat rear window, uh, rain sense wipers, two aux points, and at least one USB that I've found so far. It has a Touch Pro center screen display, a 12 inch display. Uh, it is Bluetooth compatible with Bluetooth streaming and Bluetooth telephone capability. It also has a blue halo illumination, which I have noticed when uh, at night when you can see 
your lights reflecting off a car next to you, you can see actually a blue line between the light and the uh, darker portion of the car. The XJ has uh, very good visibility, surprisingly. For the size of the car, you would suspect that you'd have some problems, especially the with the rear pillars and all, but uh, there's a lot of glass. It has a low profile to it. It seems to sit low and the distance from the doors to the uh, to the roof line, uh, it almost gives it a little bit of a chopped appearance, which is very cool. Uh, the car rides really well, even on rough pavement uh, in the regular mode not driving it dynamic uh, it's extremely comfortable uh, it absorbs the potholes and things of that nature with no complaints whatsoever it does seem to tighten up a little bit when it's in dynamic mode but it's still a very uh, comfortable place to be a quick note on the seat heaters we talk about uh, performing well <laughs> I can uh, only leave mine on even on the lowest setting for about five minutes or so and then it starts to get too warm. So the seat heaters are definitely meeting my wife's uh, stamp of approval. An interesting feature with the Jaguar is it has a, uh, um, a touchless way to open up the glove compartment. You can just wave your hand in front of it guess when the car is not moving. Oh, there it goes. Just wave your hand in front of it and it releases the latch. Uh, Jaguar has come a long way. Uh, they're actually one of the top performing cars on JD Powers now and uh, they have a class leading warranty. Uh, the warranty on this car new is five years, 60,000 miles, which is better than any of the other vehicles in its class. But that also includes all of the regularly scheduled maintenance Braking performance, uh, four-wheel disc, I got uh, large disc brakes all the way around this car. Uh, they seem to handle very well considering the weight and size of this vehicle. I've had no issue, even with emergency stops, in bringing this behemoth to a halt in a reasonable amount of time. The Jaguar XJ is equipped with a spark key. Uh, that will allow you to enter the vehicle and start the vehicle without putting a key into ignition. Uh, it also will help activate the uh, exterior illumination as you approach the vehicle, which is very cool. Uh, the steering wheel is uh, wood with leather wrapped and uh, it's uh, very comfortable to use. I feel very uh, competent when I'm behind it. Uh, there's plenty of controls for controlling the automobile on the uh, steering wheel on the, and the paddles behind it. Uh, the Jaguar XJ does come standard with a uh, automatic 8-speed transmission, uh, but you can also shift with the paddle shifters, just uh, uh, going shift down with the left one, shift up with the right one. The Jaguar XJ has two displays, one that's prominently in front of you that you see through the steering wheel, that which is currently showing your uh, tachometer and your speedometer. Uh, it will change information based on the driving mode that you're in, be it uh, dynamic or sport. Uh, then it also includes a 12-inch display in the center console uh, that has several different functions. Um, it, it's got the indoor climate. Uh, has your navigation which will display on the center screen also uh, driver's controls uh, Bluetooth hookup and it is compatible to work Bluetooth streaming with your cell phone along with uh, the phone capability itself uh, it has the what has become the standard for Jaguar as far as the shift knob is concerned uh, when you first turn the vehicle on by pushing the start button with your keyless entry remote, the shift dial rises up out of the center console. Uh, it's a beautiful chrome and piano black display there, and you just click it right or left to change the appropriate gears. 
Uh, below it, uh, you have options for turning your traction control on and off, turning the speed limiter on and off. Uh, also have the mode to switch your driving dynamics from dynamic to sport to wet, uh, wet weather. It's a beautiful car to be in. You are wrapped by wood accents that start from your driver's side and wrap all the way around to the dash and all the way around the passenger side. Uh, the chrome or stainless steel, the chrome look of the analog clock and the air vents is just absolutely beautiful. They look like works of art on their own. Ergonomically, the uh, car is very easy to drive. Uh, all the controls are very handy. You have all your seat positions on the left, your window controls and your mirror controls. Uh, you can control plenty of your uh, driver operations from the uh, two stocks either to the left or right of the steering wheel, the left stock being uh, lighting control, the right stock being your uh, um, windshield wipers. Uh, your right side of the steering wheel also controls the uh, cruise control. You have a heated steering wheel by the tab paddle on your lower left of the steering wheel and uh, using the center console you can activate the seat controls for heating and cooling. The XJ is equipped with standard with a 825 watt two so subwoofer 20 speaker Meridian sound system and it sounds outstanding. Uh, really wouldn't be easy to demonstrate it as we're driving down the road today but uh, just take it from me uh, it's a great place to be with the stereo system. The XJ for its size has an extraordinary amount of room for the driver and passenger seat up front. Uh, I imagine you could fit a six foot five person easily in this car on the front seat. The back seat, the leg room looks to be less than you might expect for a car of this size, but the seats are very deep. So uh, when we put uh, a taller individual in here, uh, they were able to sit down and because the seating position is farther back, the leg room didn't seem as much a concern. Uh, if that is an issue for you, you can pay the upcharge and get the L version, which is five inches longer. Uh, and most of that five inches goes right to the leg room for the passengers in the back. The XJ has a very large sunroof, which will tilt. Uh, it's a panor panoramic view. Uh, it will tilt up. Uh, it'll move back completely. You can close it with the visor. And there's also another uh, panoramic roof for the passengers in the back that also has a closing visor for it. The uh, driver's side position, I've got a 12-way adjustable seat that has three memory positions. Uh, an option will also include an 18-way adjustable seat. The leather is absolutely beautiful. All the seats in this car are heated and cooled, and they can be controlled separately. Uh, and uh, it's a great place to be. It's a very comfortable car. I can see that this would be awesome for long distances. I've driven it about 150 miles in the last three days, and I gotta say I look forward to getting into it. Uh, it does not have a sensation of being a large car when you're driving it. It's uh, quite agile when you're driving it. It really stays flat with curves, it accelerates briskly, and it is, I gotta say, it's, it definitely is Jaguar. It's a joy to drive. This is definitely a driver's car. I almost forgot. The XJ gets 18 miles a gallon in the city, 27 on the highway for combined efficiency of 21 miles per gallon. Uh, thanks to Ronnie with the Jaguar dealership in Nashville for allowing us to borrow the car. And if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, leave us some comments at the bottom, check out our Facebook and our Instagram, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for joining us at the Full Octane Garage. We'll see you soon. <laughs>